Alright, so it's the end of rifle deer and elk season, so I'm gonna give you guys a recap on what happened this season, so yeah, I'm gonna explain more of what happened and more details about it, but you guys might have already seen the video that I posted on it, but yeah, if you haven't already, you can go check that out or you can watch this first. So yeah, let's get into it. So it was the start of early season for rifle deer, and we've seen some elk though on the first couple days. It was a little herd with uh, one little bull in it, it was a spike. Fast forward a day later, and my mom and I were sitting up at the ground blind. We sat there for two days, seeing nothing, but we were seeing if we, uh, one of the bucks stepped out that were up there. Cause there's a couple bucks up there. There's a three by three, which I'll show a photo of him here and a four by three so here's the three by three and there's the four by three another couple days later we my dad and i went up elk hunting and we seen nothing the first day we seen actually a bull i th we think it was it looked like a bull in the road and it ran off we tried to look for it never found it but yeah then after that the next day we went up this one area where we found a herd of cows and after we seen this cows, we hiked up to another clear cut, and there was a legal bull in one of those herds. And there's four bulls in the herd, and one was legal, and the others were spikes. So we tried to sneak up to them. We got 300 yards from them, and they winded us. And I had the spikes, my crosshairs, but the bull was at the back of them, and they winded us before the bull could step out into this clearing that I was looking at that I could see them. The next day we went up to the same area, seen the same herd of cows, but we never found the herd with the bulls in them. We went up to that clear cut, sat in the sat up there in the evening, seen nothing, and I'm pretty sure we went up there another day, third day, and found nothing. So yeah. So a couple days later we went out deer hunting because it was late season then. It opened back up and it was early in the morning. Sat up there, it was my mom and I and a little two point stepped out. My mom was wanting to shoot a uh, two point or bigger, not wanting to shoot a spike. But yeah, so he stepped out. We had four days left, and this was the opening day of late season. We waited about 30 to 40 minutes, and we got out of the blind, and we're walking down the trail to go meet my dad and sister and brother, but we he was laying right there on the trail that we used to get out of there and come up to the ground blind, and yeah, he ran right behind the ground blind and crashed right here onto a log, so yeah, that was pretty awesome. We got to get some pictures, skin him, we brought him back to the truck, and brought him back to the house. Later the same day, we my dad and I went up to the blind, and I had a feeling that the big buck was going to step out, one of the three point or four points. So we went up there, and a spike stepped out, and he came over in front of the ground blind and kept looking behind the ground blind like there's something there, and he stood there for about 10 minutes, and I look out my side window, and I just see a big rack lift up, and I told my dad, and after a couple minutes, the buck finally stepped out. And right when he got here, I clicked safety, he heard it, and I fired. Got my brother, sister, and mom, tracked him. He's like 30 yards from the ground blind where I shot him. And yeah, I that's how the story, how I got my biggest buck in my life. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video. Congratulations. <laughs> what a buck.